All right. Hello. Hello, Pisces. Pisces, this is your third and the final message for September's monthly. Thank you all so very much. In the description box is where I will link in part one and part two. In this particular video, we're jumping into the Wild Mystic Oracle. I opened this up for the Virgo's birthday season. And we're at the very end of it. Uh, it is the 19th today as I am doing your messages. Um, I think I got a few fairy whispers. The second one was very beautiful. I do have some new music. I'm seeing a lot of different signs and synchronicities with the numbers. I'm not pulling numbers today, but... Um, lots of different Pisces energies, like all of you, the March energies. Um, and then like 222, 221. Um, I saw 1234 and 1212. So take out resonates. There could be some Sagittarius energy. I did see a lot of Capricorn, Aries for sure. Aries, Aries, um, Virgo, Cancer sign. Okay. Those were kind of the main energies. So you can have that in your chart or be dealing with them during this month of September. Okay, for this third one, um, beautifully enough. So the Wild Mystic um, with the little froggy malachite is what I have right there. Uh, this, And literally, this is why I'm interlinking with Aries. Because literally right afterward I saw someone with Aries uh, share, sharing a picture of a frog. So this is also about safe travels. Florida was spotlighted again, um, as well as Kentucky. Okay, I know this is this is weird. I was getting lots of different names and stuff like that and music. However, um, Clint Eastwood by the Gorillas. Okay, also got some Nine Inch Nails. So a little Trent Reznor it pulled in a little Taurus energy for me. Um, and of course some tool and perfect circle. That's what I listen to though. Uh, so keep that in mind. Eh, that's my jams. Um, and a little bit of corn popping in word up the ladies word up. Um, what else? What else? What else do I want to say before I begin? Hmm. Oh yeah, 144, seeing the 144 a lot, right? I know a lot of people think this is like the uh, 144, feeling like they're the chosen. Ironically, so I want to bring up actually, uh, I believe it's like Tampa Bay, Fox, maybe it's the station, but also it's again like the X-Files and like David Duchovny or the Fox Mulder and this one about aliens and star seeds. I don't have the starseed energy in here or the alien stuff, you know, but um, the song that was coming through too was like uh, Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, and The Warning. Hmm. Okay, word up. The Warning. Uh, I don't know if I want to do all the names. I think I'm just going to let it be. Okay. Um, Before I forget. Ah, I'm getting like Slipknot before I forget. Uh, I didn't even listen to that song, but that popped in. Um... So, I've always, like, spotlighted, uh, really, uh, kudos to Sheriff, uh, Grady Judd in Florida, and, uh, there was, like, you know, 144, this is where I saw 144 gang members, 144 guns being taken from these people who are not even old enough to be, like, purchasing, and their illegal weapons and all of this stuff. It's like the stupid gang wars. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, this made me think of something from the previous month in August when I was pulling characters. Uh, also got a little Easy E and Virgo energy there. And G's, capital G's, capital G. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to tell you that for now. We're going to jump into the Wild Mystic Oracle. I'm going to bring the camera down. Here we go. 425 on the clock. Hello, Tauruses. So, like I said, you can have rising sign, moon sign. Pisces are big dealing with them as well. So, check your rising sign, moon sign. And little froggy malachite. All right. I'm just going to grab in the middle of this Wild Mystic Oracle deck. No fucking way I could not I'm sorry I needed to express that because I grabbed the fucking frog right off out the back out of the middle of the deck guys beautiful 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 so frog represents healing 
uh, water, transformation even. So a little scorpionic, um, but coming out of the muck, the three stages of a tadpole, right? Um, their mud, their earth. So I was getting earth, wind, and fire as well in September. So remember, remember the 21st of September. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited that that happened. Little frog. Heal. Heal. Light in the darkness. So I will say um, there hasn't been very many views, right, on my, my channel. Small, I realize that and everything. But the second video for you guys was really, um, really beautiful. So I'm hoping that and there was a, a lot about, like, connected with ancestors or listening to elders about things of healing. Wow. Okay, so I'm not going to reiterate all the numbers I got here. Wow. So some of you, an, Air, an Aries person or have Aries in your chart. I see 1-4. I did see 1-14 Capricorn. 1-16. Hmm. Um, what else? I'm like 12-26, 12-27, stuff like that, okay? Um, I'm just kind of blown away. I'm just going to leave that one there for a second. And then I'm going to see what's on the bottom of the deck, okay, Pisces? Stillness. Wow. So there was Aquarian energy. This also makes me think of Virgo or Taurus. This is being in the stillness. Both of these are upright. And in this pause, purification with the communication, listening the stillness. So there was also Aquarius energy, of course. <laughs> so let's start with those two. Then I'm going to shuffle it. Let's see what needs to be healed, what we're healing. How cute is that? The frog, okay? So I'm going to bring up other uh, readers, potentially. There could be something there for you, or maybe you already listened to them. Um, moon, moon Alien Tarot, I think that's the name. It's Moon with Alien Face. Okay, um, Australia, um, and always talks about froggy, right? So that's why I was like, oh, lovely. I love that. Okay. Um, and the music. Okay. Also Chiron intuition. Some there might be there for you. Um, in intuitive Kev, those are a few different channels. Maybe you could, uh, you're inspired to listen to. Wow. Um, Healing with nutrition as well and with ancestors, wisdom, spending time with an older person might be uh, very valuable. A lot like all earth energy was coming through Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay, you can have that in your chart or be dealing with them. They could be an ancestor. This is also Scorpionic, Aries, like I said. We've got Aquarius there too. A little bit of Gemini. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to open it up to heal. And the frog. I see patience, crocodile. Oh my goodness. TikTok. The crocodile. Wow. Um, patience, 44 and 45. Hmm. This is so weird. I don't even want to tell you some things that are coming through for me. Because they are. it seems like it's a personal thing. Um, with the crocodile. Huh. Okay. As a croc of shit, someone will say. <laughs> Fox is cunning. So, these could also be names, too, right? Whatever. Frog. Fox comes right before frog. So, frog, I see 56, 5'6", five, and 5'7", there. Okay. Ooh, working with aloe vera. Aloe vera. Very interesting. Maybe incorporating that. The weirdest thing, guys, is I wanted to share with you because um, orange. So after your last video, you had the orange there, right? I went and literally ate an orange. I was like, all right, I'm going to go have an orange. I had a fresh fig. Um, I did some painting in between with beautiful colors. And then I just kind of, I saw the craziest weird beetle, dude. I'm all, this beetle is like this black beetle. And it's called, this is the name of the beetle, okay? It's called the devil's coach horse beetle. I don't know. Some weird shit. Anyways, so dates, names. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to give names this time. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit back on the names. Um, 
some of the names I've already spoken could be important as well. Five, six, and five, seven, that could be Taurus energy. You could have that in your chart. You could be these ages, even though this is also water, needing this water for healing. So making sure you're getting your water as well, right? And your water intake. Um, I actually, after this video, I'm going to be doing, like, I already have it planned, doing like a, even um, a water bath or something, a salt water bath or, you know, something like that. Healing with water. It's very transformative as well. Cleansing. This card represents healing and restoration. The frog, like many creatures, including cats, ravens, goats, and pigs, was often associated with witchcraft in early European superstition. All right, because the the getting like um, uh, warts, right, or something warts, <laughs> um, and the frogs. Frogs were reportedly used as an ingredient in spells for curing illnesses, ridding the skin of warts, and even curing a broken heart. This association with healing may have stemmed from lore that linked the frog with death and rebirth due to their transformation from a tiny water-based tadpole to their adult form. The frog card is one of physical and mental healing. Healing can seem like a long and arduous process, but this is a card of hope and recuperation. In ancient Egypt, the frog was a symbol of childbirth, fertility, and procreation. The frog card might reference an upcoming birth, adoption, or an addition even to the family. If you do not plan on having children, then it might indicate the birth of an idea, right? Life-changing project or other creation of the mind or spirit. Okay, um, what else is this? 10, 11. So a little Libra energy too. The stones to work with are bloodstone, tourmaline, black tourmaline for protection, right? Turquoise. Oh, turquoise is also for your, even though it's blue, it, you know, it's for your solar plexus. And then clear quartz that magnifies any of these. <clears throat> the flora is adder's tongue, aloe vera, Anemone and fever few. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and of course, the element is water. Spell work. Healing magic. Caring for a sick or recovering person. Fertility magic. Luck with a diagnosis or surgery. Hmm. All right. So, it's all good luck. Good luck. All right. Now, we have the hair on. That was what was on the bottom in this stillness. And even this purification, the snapdragon, through your communication about how you speak to yourself and your body as well. And because uh, that was very spotlighted as well in the second one about, look, even he has little warts on him, <laughs> on his head. Okay. Like, I was also seeing there's someone, maybe you have like, you were them, has on like their left, no, the right leg. The right foot area um even like moles or something i don't know spots i don't know that's clearly not for everyone <laughs> okay let's go to the hair on so the other song which i always bring up and in case i haven't this time didn't do it again is wardrana and white raven okay also got our lady peace and star seed so and then, of course, the gorillas and Clint Eastwood, okay? Hmm. The hawk. Okay, here we go. Being in stillness. Okay, beautiful. So even though there is Aquarian energy, there, and there's also Gemini with this. So if you have this in your chart and you're dealing with that, right? Because I see 6-2 and 6-3. I also saw 6-8. These can also be ages, 62 or 63. Eight, nine. So a little Leo too. I was thinking there wasn't so much Leo here. Hmm. However, uh, it can be there as well. Aquarius Leo. This card represents stillness and serenity. Unlike the bear, 28, who inspires physical rest, the Heron card signals psychological and spiritual rest. Hmm. The heron is a fishing bird who relies on the stillness to catch prey. As they wait patiently in a calm pond, the water becomes glassy and still. Their balance upon their stalk-like legs inspires harmony, 
centering and tranquility. This card urges you to stop and take a moment to center yourself. It is a card for meditation, mindfulness, reflection, and grounding. In Korea, the heron is a symbol of grace and transcendence above the mundane world. The heron on the ground is associated with earth and waters around them. But as they take flight into the boundless air, they transcend the physical. If you have been too grounded in the material or focused on the physical, then this card urges you to look higher. If the body, bodily reality of a situation is too definite or painful right now, hmm, focusing on a mental journey might be safe and healing. Out-of-body experiences, visualization, and higher consciousness may be calling to you as ways to get through the present situation. This card may also represent those born under the Western Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Air and water. Okay. <clears throat> Cyprus. Okay, working with Cyprus is one of the florals. Reed. R-E-E-D, the reed, maybe some of the name is reed even. Lily of the Valley, Magnolia. The stones to work with are moss, agate. Blue, calcite, chrysocolla, and jade. The spell work is promoting inner calm and peace. Quelling of fear and doubt. Did I mention Pantera and Phil? <laughs> and New Level, Taurus, Gemini's. Pisces, Aquarius, all who are tuned in. Okay, so that was the first two. Let's shuffle it and let's see what flies out. I just couldn't. I mean, I opened it up to the frog. I mean, I just, right in the middle, right in the middle, smack right in the kisser. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if someone gets smacked in the mouth or something. He looks a little irritated for sure. <sighs> Lots of hairy eyebrows. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's see, let's see. So much going on in the world though, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch for power outages if you if at all possible coming up. If uh get yourself a generator, okay? Because there are going to be some power outages. That's just part of the cycle, right? So being prepared. Sometimes I see looking at this as also being prepared of what's coming up in the future. And how to move forward through these things as well. And always, it is for entertainment and fun as well. Um, and if you do get a beautiful message, then that's, that's wonderful. Right? And so don't take anything that's not for you. Especially with like the tarot and things like that. I got the new, I was telling Pisces about the last video about for Libra's energy because we're almost there. We're like right at the end of this uh, Virgo energy for this month, right? And I decided for Halloween time or October's messages and for Libra's birthday, I'm opening up the Universal Monsters tarot that just arrived. I was like, yes. My, so I change my mind all the time. I have different ideas and then when it finally comes forth. And then there's like some, some issues with not receiving packages on time, delays, things like that. Uh, or they're being damaged in the mail. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> what do we have for the Wild Mystic? These do read reversals into the shadow energy. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Megadeth. And train of consequences. That's Dave Mustaine. He's I'm pretty sure he's Virgo as well. Makes me think of Cancer Sign, a lot of Cancer Sign. All right, these ones jumped right here by the shimmering three nine and thirty-nine and oh yeah, ninety-four was being spotlighted. So someone something about ninety-four as well as two thousand nineteen. Um someone could be thirty-nine, forty-one, mm. 63 i'm seeing 63 even gemini's oh the trust and the horse is in reverse pisces someone doesn't have the trust makes me think of the megadeth song trust it says and that song even says that i'm doing you a favor as i'm taking all your money 
guess I should feel sorry, but I don't even trust me. Hmm. How to do, how you do trick or trust. Ooh, there's a trick. Trick or treat. So Pisces, the 12th house energy is the rulers of the large animals like horses, cattle, the big animals, right? Where, where your opposite Virgo is the rulers of the small animals, small pets. Weird. The horse. A horse of a horse, of course, of course. Weird. Pisces, how interesting. Unless his name is Mr. Ed. We're going to find out about this. Why is there a trick? This is like a trick. So you had glamour and shimmer in reverse. Someone is not feeling very confident. Maybe even communicating really harshly to themselves or with a sibling, neighbor, someone in your community. I'm going to put trick here. This light of the darkness. But they both came in reverse. So we're going to find out why these reversals. There is deception with this. That's the whole thing, cutting through the bullshit, right? Yeah. And someone is not trusting. The trust has been broken or something. Rest. So, wow. So, there's bear there. The other song was by It's Perfect Circle, and it's called Counting Bodies Like Sheep to the Rhythm of the War Drums, right? And it says, go back to sleep. So maybe you're going to receive more of your uh, downloads, information, whatever. Make sure you're getting enough rest, hibernation. There's something else, Pisces. Don't forget, don't feed the bears. Because when you feed the bears, they come back to mama bear. Divination, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, 1-4, or the 14th. Wow, so interesting enough, something very spotlighted for the 14th. I'm also seeing 514. Huh. Beauty. And you had beauty in the beast in reverse too. Someone just needs to rest. Rejuvenate. Take time out. Receiving this type of divination even. This was interesting with the chives. I was also getting something like Scandinavian, Norwegian, and French. French ancestry or something. Okay, that's what's underneath it. I'm going to see what else needs to come out. All right, let's see. So for the Pisces, for September's messages, what is most important? Giving clarification and guidance for the Pisces for the September's monthly Okay, whoa, this one went by uh, the, the cow, dude, the cow in Taurus. It flew over here by stir the pot. So this one I did pull, okay, so I don't know. <clears throat> what do you mean, stir the pot? Taurus Leo, um, providing, someone feels like they're not, oh my gosh, confidence in reverse, providing in reverse. Hmm. This is someone I'm also saying to be careful about your cockiness and your arrogance. See that song? Okay, the warning. Taurus. Oh my goodness. This is what you value, what you're willing to spend your money on. Your not your morals too. Your uh just you know the the cow, the cash cow. Why is this milk or dairy? The cattle. But with the peacock in reverse, this is showing, and confidence in reverse, this is that someone could be acting very egotistical regarding finances or money. Very greedy, too focused on materialistic stuff. Um, and superficial. Huh. Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn. And then we have... <clears throat> the Cancer sign energy and the cauliflower. And I see 9-11 there and 11-9. So Scorpio. 11-4. Four, 4-11, the 31st. 7-31. I saw 7-10, 7-11 as well. Confidence in reverse. <clears throat> Regarding this. The time. 
dimensional slips, fairy time, not being linear, being a circle, the perfect circle. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Whoa. And then we have the blank card. I left one blank. I wanted to see. So work, busy bee. It's time to do the work. You have to do the work. The honeycomb. Hmm. The work. Okay, I'm going to read these in reversal. All these are in shadow energy. Okay? My shadow. 46 and 2. 2. Let's find out. What is the shadow energy? Oh, that one knocked over Valentine's Day. I have this other fairy tarot I haven't used for a while. My little boxes fell over. You can't even see it, but I'm fixing it now. My little boxes. Little boxes. Ticky tacky. <clears throat> That's by like Melvina Reynolds. Little boxes. It's like, okay. The houses all look like little boxes. I haven't listened to that song for a while. It was like the, um, if you ever watched Weeds, uh, I'm getting like Weed California or something. That's like a place, but um, Weeds, the show, the song like that starts in the beginning. Mm hmm. The Decemberist also do a cover song of that, Little Boxes. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Trick, let's see what this trick is. I open it up, I see Salamander and Grow. I'm pretty sure this trick one is, it's called the Raccoon Dog, I believe. It's different. I wanna see why it's in reverse to get more clarification. Wolf. Okay, raven, raccoon, there we go. Yeah, the trick. Okay, 88 and 89. Okay, okay. This might be dealing with Leo. I did see 888, so abundance, karma. So 88 could be ages, 89. This is earth energy though as well. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Wow, so 910. On the tenth, this could have happened sometime in the on the tenth of the month. I mean, I'm already at the nineteenth today. So, the Tanukis, Tanukis is the raccoon dog of the sixteenth and seventeenth century. Japanese stories were conjurers and shapeshifters who could transform into animate and inanimate objects to trick their quarry. Before they became the benevolent rogues of current folklore. They were considered misleading and dangerous. The shadow reading on this card may be warning you that something is not as it seems and that the rug may soon be pulled out from under you. Ooh, earth energy. Rosemary, peppermint, lotus, bay, and snapdragon. Wow, so snapdragon is there as well. Hmm. Uh, the stones to work with are onyx, Thulite, Topaz, Diamond, and Idocrase. The Snapdragon, how interesting. Encouraging the mind to think outside the box. Prosperity in business. Encouraging generosity and cheerfulness. Protection from deceit. 89. Maybe it's regarding Leo or you have Leo in your chart or Earth energy, okay? I often think of this as a little Aquarian as well. There's trickery. Huh. The something is making someone even feel less than in their physical appearance. Why is the trust there? Maybe this has to do with a trust. Okay? Like a trust fund. Um, a living trust. Something like that even. So this is also scorpionic energy. Why is the horse in reverse? Dude, you guys are the first to get that. I'm all dude. <laughs> I call everyone dude. Something needs to be healed though, right? Your mind, the tongue. Ooh. Aloe vera. Hmm. Maybe incorporating that. Okay, 
Where's horse? I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. 10 miles high. Six, four, and six, five. Maybe this has to do with a Gemini, okay? Or someone could be 64, 65. This also still is earth energy. So we've got earth. I don't have much fire on the board, interesting enough, even though I was bringing up Aries energy. Leo Sag, let's see. Sodalite. Okay, in the Scottish. Okay, remember I was saying like in one of your other videos, I feel like the name Scott was coming through a lot. So Scottish. In Scottish folklore, the Kelpie is a shape-shifting creature who generally takes on the form of a black horse. The black stallion. How interesting. If this is interlinking, I gotta say, with Virgo energy. Because for their birthday, I opened up many books. And they got two black stallion books. Okay? Maybe watch one of their birthday messages or the black stallion. Or you already did. But so this is about a black horse. Potentially a shape-shifting horse. It makes me think of like Sleepy Hollow. An Ichabod Crane. The headless horseman. The creature entices wandering humans to ride it. Then runs into the water where the victims are drowned. Much as the light reading of this card warns against blind trust, the shadow reading warns against misplaced trust. Hmm. Misplaced trust. Hmm. Interesting. 65. The flora to work with is freesia, sweet pea, and thyme. The stones are sodalite, smithsonite, amber, chrysoprase. The spell work is a blessing of marriage or a union, encouraging trust and understanding between people, guarding against fraud. So this warns against misplaced trust. So trusting someone who is not trustworthy. Hmm. And then the cow in reverse. Okay. Or the bull. It might be the bull. <clears throat> it looks like a cow. No, nope, it's cow. In reverse, 41. Wow, so interesting enough, it's sitting around the 14. What's the 41? 41's right there. 5-5. Five, five. Hmm. I already got, I also got Megadeth and um, <clears throat> Reckoning Day. Taurus. Uh, so much earth energy. The flora. So once again, this shadow side of this, its harvest is not always fruitful, but it is always followed by winter. Hmm. The shadow reading of this card might be that you are in store for a hard winter. Oh, and the fruits of your labor will not necessarily sustain you. Instead of allowing this to defeat you, learn from it. Gather the tools you need and surround yourself with allies who will help you. There is always next year. Oh, divination. 14. Beauty's truth. This could be, that's, maybe that's why I get a generator, if you, if you can, to make sure that you still have power. The where so I brought up Florida, and one of the places was called Winter's Haven, okay, and I don't know why, I don't know why Florida or Kentucky is spotlighted, um, wow, 41. So the floor to work with is clover, cowslip, grass, vegetables, and barley. So getting your vegetables, your barley. Stones to work with tree agate, moss agate, 
bogey stones and tourmaline. So reiterating the moss agate is um, spotlighted again to work with. If you're really into the crystals and stones, maybe um, the bogey stone and black tourmaline. Tourmaline, I guess you can get, is there pink tourmaline? Black and pink tourmaline, oh man. I used to have a piece of that. I'm all, I think I gave it away. Sometimes I'm, I'm sad when I give things away <laughs> later on, but whatever. I felt guided to at that time. Can't feel bad for being generous. Hmm. The spell work is harvest festivals or blessings, embolic, emboic ritual, animal magic, garden magic, Lamas rituals and Maybon ritual. I don't know. Okay. So this is warning you. So being prepared for this winter that's coming up this season. This, this, even this divination. We can look at that as watching the signs and the symbols. Right. And I have to say there was something really interesting. My elderberry tree had a lot of berries this year more than I noticed, which to me is also about like cold and flu and stuff like that. I feel like for, um, you know, use for your immunity and stuff like that, um, immune system, whatever. <clears throat> but it's, it's saying to prepare for this winter. Make sure you have all your, you know, bottled water and candles and batteries, batteries and flashlights, right? Make sure you get your stockpile of your, your canned goods. Make sure you have a can opener, um, you know, things like that. Um, snacks and foods and stuff, beef jerky, whatever. Someone might be a little arrogant about something. Hmm. This is almost like also don't put all your eggs in one basket. Very interesting. All right, Pisces. Well, better to know and be prepared, right? Then, um, because we don't have control over the the earth and the nature, okay? And you can look back. So divination is even just predicting, right? By looking back at history's patterns, and then looking at the patterns that are coming up, seeing the signs and synchronicities, right? All right. I want to find out why this confidence in is in reverse. This P foul. This is also about not being too, I don't know, too, too arrogant. Okay. Because in reverse, this is watch out for envy and being boastful. It's a cancer sign. <coughs> the moon and the gateway, 45 and, hmm, confidence. Hmm. Yes, okay. 86 and 87. Earth energy again. Every single one of these were earth energies. This is getting grounded in reality. So the other song was Jane, Jane Child and... Welcome to the real world. Fact is often much stranger than fiction. No danger. Okay, shadow rating on the P-File card might warn against arrogance, vanity, and self-aggrandizement. Remember that just as Harris gifted eyes on a peacock tail remain vigilant of others, they may also be vigilant of the self. Do not be afraid to turn your own eyes inward and ask yourself if the confidence you have is earned. Ooh, even with your healing ability, especially if you have the cancer energy. Um, Aries, the time. Let's do the time warp again. Hmm. <clears throat> Working with cedar, celandine, ginger, motherwort, and neroli. The stones to work with are citrine, fuchsite, hematite, and agate. So agate is like all over this reading for you. Spellwork imbuing someone with confidence, luck, magic, 
and urging an arrogant person to change their ways. Ooh, ooh. So it maybe is a Leo person or you have Leo in your chart even. I don't know. I've got 86 and 87, 8687. Um, but I did set it over here by the fairy time, the 11, the transition of, and this is the cancer sign energy and cauliflower soup and stuff like this. Hope, daffodil. So Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn. Interesting, okay, Pisces. So that song, The Warning by Trent Reznor, is like, <clears throat> yeah, your arrogance and greed. We, we heard her cry and we come to intervene. You will change your ways or we will wipe this place clean. Ooh. Ooh. So make sure you, this is check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? Like this is about keeping your ego in check too. Or it could be that you're hoping someone else does as well. Vice versa. Wow. Very, very fascinating. I wasn't really anticipating it to go there. I think that, whew, yeah. Um, what are we on time? 41.21. I think what I want to do is because it did fall over here by the stir the pot. Um, I was potentially going to get some fairy whispers, but maybe there's some arrogance regarding these things. I don't know. The time. Okay. Who needs an attitude check? Oh, damn. So stirring the pot. Okay. Okay, Pisces. Dude, there's a song by Sepultura. And it says attitude. Who needs an attitude check? I want to know who is being deceptive or giving your trust to someone that... It could be a neighbor, a sibling, someone in your community. Maybe they have horses or something to do with that. Okay, um, Gemini, it doesn't have to be a Gemini person, but maybe, I don't know, find out that, never mind. Hmm, there's also about making sure that, you know, harvest may not be that good. So be prepared. So, clarification on who this trickery is or where this trick could be coming from. Okay, wow. Um, taking all those, this provider, Taurus Scorpio energy. Okay, stir the pot in this first one. Who would you cheat off of while taking a test? So, they're a cheater, a liar, a copier. They're someone that's smart, so it's asking you that. So, they're really wise, really smart. <laughs> Maybe someone's cheating at school. I don't know. Who dresses the most extra? So maybe flamboyant. I don't know. A cancer sign. I don't know. Capricorn. <laughs> I don't see Capricorn. Maybe Aries was this one. Who is most likely to put their kid on a leash? Okay, I've seen this one before. This one came through in a different video. Okay. Let's see next. Who has the personality of a stock photo? Okay. <laughs> Probably an earth sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. A stock photo. Hmm. Maybe that means something. They're, they're using a stock photo to sell products and it's not the actual or something like that. I don't know. Who is the biggest crybaby? Crybaby. I don't know. <sighs> Who is the scariest when they're in a bad mood? Hmm, I said it by Leo and passion, but, and uh, unconditional love, beauty and the beast. Who steals everyone else's jokes? Hmm. Okay. And who would be a villain in a movie? final one who probably has 
sex to the weirdest music. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm not even. Okay. <clears throat> that is all I have. I don't know. I always want to help give you for further clarification. I will tell you it was really interesting because the 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 water signs in your tarot i do remember your first two cards were were literally king and queen of cups in reverse okay those people would be the ones that i would see as this manipulation the lying okay i'm gonna grab a little bit of the last unicorn deck and see the moon oh my gosh so once again, Pisces, this does represent you guys, right? But also Cancer sign. But this might be tuning into your moon sign, whatever, or that full moon. But look, she's not at the full moon. This is Mama. Mama at the circus. Mommy Fortuna's Midnight Carnival. 18. At least something happened on the 18th. This is a secret. You know, this is keeping something secret. This is... They're at a carnival, midnight. It's very hidden. Something happened late at night. The fool in reverse. Some of you could have an Aries moon or vice versa. I'm seeing someone's no fool. I'm just going to read it. I just pull in the middle to give you clarification. It could be the trickery is right here. This is the illusion. Some of you could be another Pisces person or, or it could be someone with the moon on their... Because we had the full moon in Pisces, okay? <laughs> or the cancer sign, the emotions, the orange. I know I wanted to say something about the orange, um, the orange pill, but the, um, because your other video was really talking about self-love and self-care and feeling beautiful and feeling good about yourself or handsome or whatever. Um, and, and. I use this orange, so the aloe vera was so spotlighted, um, maybe it's in like your shampoo, conditioner, using it as a drink, I don't know, you can use aloe vera in so many ways, but also this vitamin C for your skin health, um, and it's called the truth serum by, what's it, Ole Henriksen, okay, I, I'm seeing someone doesn't want to be a fool, maybe this is about not trusting certain things, certain Hmm. Not wanting to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Six of Wands, because someone feels very unsuccessful. You got Six of Wands in reverse. Cheating off the test. Maybe so. This is like someone feeling like they do not win. Uh, unvictorious. This Scorpio. <laughs> or this Taurus energy, even. Okay, I see Queen of Wands in reverse, guys. Who dresses the most extra? Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. You guys. Oh. So, it does interlink definitely with the first reading. You had a promiscuous woman or promiscuous person. And this is the person... This is the energy, whether it's a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sag, feminine, okay? Um, you also have, right, they're arrogant, cocky, uh, maybe cancer sign even, or mothering, uh, he, nurturing. She's in reverse, which means she's either flaunting her shit to get attention, okay? Maybe it's about how she's dressing, uh, or lack thereof. I don't know. Gosh. Um, or she's very angry and bossy. Um, and I know I spoke about that in the other one of those. Someone being very, you know, they could be very attractive and beautiful on the outside, but be very dark on the inside. And uh, this is that narcissistic cannibal. Huh. What? Okay, so who's the biggest crybaby? Aquarius is. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, the 31. 31. 731. So maybe that's even Leo energy. There's also potentially, I'm seeing this as an Aries, potentially weird. Um, hmm. 
our cancer sign, but we have the star upright, okay? And this is about being hopeful. Um, someone seeing someone as a star, Beauty and the Beast, the biggest crybaby, um, sharing emotions and feelings and being really optimistic and hopeful. All right, let me bring this down. We have the emperor upright. So this is the father figure, the boss, right? The husband, whoever is in your life, you are them. The emperor is upright. And I do appear, so he's sitting in his throne on his power, right? He, he is benevolent. He is looking over the kingdom, you know? It's not all about him. Maybe it's a Pisces or a Cancer uh masculine right or you are or this is the father the elder even look he kind of like missing some hair on the top right and it's got <laughs> this is king haggard and mama fortuna <clears throat> i'm saying this is someone that maybe you build homes with it or you live this is about your home this is a father figure or or a husband or a boss um because I also see four of wands. So someone not wanting to be a fool and jump in because they're feeling a little like unsuccessful. Huh. The four. No way. We have four, four. 44. Also four. So someone could be an Aries. This is Aries Taurus energy as well as Cancer Pisces. Got quite a bit of Aries. Wow, we have Queen of Coins upright, okay? This is good. This is very, uh, this is the rich girl card, but regardless, this is a feminine who is very wise with the finances, money, luxury, building a beautiful home. Also, she knows when to take time to rest, right? She she's, lives beautifully and wise with her giving. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And, and it isn't about, this is by the Taurus energy, right? Pisces and beautiful and um this isn't all about trying to win I'm seeing this as having a nice home a beautiful home you know and maybe not sharing certain things with people let's see Page of Cups in reverse with this Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is very immature, unapologetic. This could be a child of yours, but this is very childish the way they act. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, there could be heavy drinking, playing a victim, because, like, there's, like, crying here, too. Uh, someone's trying to be hopeful that this person can be healed. Maybe this King of Cups is in a lot of emotions. The Beast energy. I don't know. This is the emotional manipulation. Someone is trying to emotionally detach and walk away from this type of energy. Whoa. To get clarity in the truth, because I feel like this person plays a victim, Right? This person steals people's things. I don't... Just their words, even. Their... <clears throat> Interesting. This is also thinking that love is conditional, but or being taken advantage of and using unconditional love as a uh, means to um, stay in a, an abusive type dynamic okay someone wants the truth and clarity on this i feel like that's maybe that's why it's all keeping things a secret emotionally detaching and walking away from this type of energy and to a home happiness right knight of cups whoa and romance love see knight of cups coming in this is someone wanting to speak the truth. So I'm seeing as someone does not want a new beginning somewhere else. They don't want to be a fool. Okay. Um, they're, they're speaking, getting clarity. Look, they're together in this home right here. This is even Robin Hood and Maid Marian right here in this little. <laughs> and then this is um, 
giving a like he has two cups here like a soulmate offer this is sometimes often romantic loving this is love energy even apologies if need be it's like they're lowering their ego like you know what i mean it's being humble this person isn't like see their money as what gives them value or, or you know what i mean they try not to flaunt it okay will of fortune in reverse for this person over here okay i gotta show you this 55 15 on the clock this queen of wands in reverse so regardless of the the zodiac sign okay the, the energy of this lady in reverse is that of a promiscuous type feminine who wants to needs attention um immature regardless of her age right and, and i do keep it in feminine so I personally keep the kings and queens in their gender just for clarification and guidance. If you need to flip it around and do whatever, you got two people in reverse. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, the things that were in the news, right? I brought them up a little bit that happened, right? Like, literally, like, Puff Daddy. It's like, I'm so tired of hearing about it now. I was like, yay! Um... Let's just move on now, and uh, I'll I'll watch the court. I don't even want to know about the type of shit, because it's not just. That's the whole thing. This is like a sex working thing. You know what I mean? It's like prostitution, Instagram girl, only fan, what the fuck ever. And I I don't think I think you always have a choice. Um. Yeah. And there could be addiction involved in it, right? And if you are coerced or manipulated, right? And all that stuff. Okay, Will of Fortune in reverse for this person. This is a karmic cycle they're in and they are going to, they're having a huge fall from grace. They're a thief. The Will of Fortune in reverse. And uh, we have six of coins. So someone does want to make things right and fair with this person. Um, they want things to be fair and balanced. The give and take. Hope and healing. Hmm. We have someone stuck in their head, though, trying to make a decision. A cancer sign about moving. I'm seeing no movement. I'm seeing the chariot in reverse. Someone trying to make a decision, trying to emotionally detach and walk away. Like just emotionally not let this person have an, an energetic, emotional attachment to you and then get truth and clarity because they're causing illusion or confusion. So I'm saying like not taking this action. Don't go on the trip or the car or the ride. I don't know. No movement. This is about a trip or a car, or a ride, or a cancer sign, right? Someone, they might have, someone may have come in and apologized. They may have realized that somebody was actually causing this confusion, this five of wands. This person felt like someone was competition or they were competing. They were causing this disruption in a relationship. They, they're laying down their wands because they do not want to fight or compete there maybe there's apologies for being that way and then i see someone having strength someone needing to have strength to hold themselves back especially this lady this woman this feminine so she may very well be leo okay a leo cancer energy but this is even overcoming the fear See, the unicorn's pushing the red bull, the bully. This person could just be a bully, too. Hmm. Let it, let, what else do I see here? 8, 10. 5, 8. Uh, 10, 8. Huh. Yeah. This is even like holding yourself back from any type of like revenge or something or this lady this person this feminine this woman needs to do that hold herself back she doesn't have willpower strength there's someone who needs to have some strength to hold themselves back 
okay? Because this, this other person is very unapologetic, very immature. Um, I see someone waiting patiently for things to all be balanced out. Yeah, 83, 83, three of wands. I'm seeing patience once again. Needing to be patient, waiting for something. Who's the scariest when they're in a bad mood? Maybe it's that lady, that woman. She flips her lid when you, she doesn't get her way. A, adult temper tantrum. When your, your lusty stuff doesn't work anymore or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm moving these ones up a little bit. We're going to see. The last unicorn. All right, I see page of wands. So this is a time of maybe studying and learning something before you take action. Maybe even learning how to drive. I mean, as simple as that. And then nine of wands, then feeling free. Because someone feels very burdened even, feeling like they're kind of trapped or they need to protect themselves. But I'm seeing finally freeing yourself from some type of like feeling of you've got to... Uh, uh, Protect yourself from the outside, that everyone's against you. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing being released, being freed. The hermit in reverse, once again. Virgo. Maybe this is the feminine Virgo for you guys. Okay? I don't know. Taurus. Doesn't have to be those signs either. It can just be the energy they're carrying. I mean, clearly, you don't have to be an earth sign to have finances and have wealth. Okay? Okay? And be wise. Um, just like you don't have to be a fire sign to be angry or mean or skanky. <laughs> Hooker with a penis, even. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Okay. The Hermit in Reverse. Wow, 9-11. I see also 7-9. Cancer sign. Okay, well. And then we have Ten of Cups. This is someone who's part of your family. All right. Hmm. Someone is getting let go of. They could be being freed. They're they're gaining the information and then um, heading home, to, feeling like their support, wanting to be supported. Someone going to where there is love, um, unconditional, true, unconditional love, support by family, friends, someone from your past even. I see 10-6 again, okay, so Libra was popping, 10-3 as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing someone trying to be hopeful and heal things, right? Maybe overcoming some heavy emotions, drinking, drugging, partying, whatever. It's like the prodigal son returns home or something. Okay, Six of Cups is, look, there is still, there's nostalgia, but you can see the pain in her face of um, wishing, you know, like they were younger. Because she's thinking of the past. And when she was young and more innocent and believed in unicorns and stuff like this. Okay, this is Molly. <laughs> uh, uh, someone's waiting patiently for someone from your, your their past that there's good nostalgia with. Waiting for them to show up. Maybe someone's coming. Six of Cups upright. That's good. Over here we have Ace of Cups in reverse in the world. So I'm seeing no new love or someone needs to work on self-love. Maybe focus on something else, their own creativity, their own skills. Right? And then we have the world. So there's this sense of this completion now. I think the answer is like not taking this trip or not 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 taking action on something. Not moving. Someone does not want to act foolish. They do not want to move. They do not want to travel or drive somewhere. Maybe that's the new beginning. Is staying exactly where they are. You or them. 121. 721. <clears throat> 9 21 on the 21st something like that a whole new world this is a new book a new chapter a completion of that cycle finally yeah a decision being made of where to invest time and money that's the way i read two of coins in reverse so 
someone coming down the mountain and knowing exactly it's like someone went up and gained some clarity uh, removed themselves from the confusion of other people and online and news and all that and really tried to connect with higher self source god angels um of what where to invest their time and money you know the villain in the movie and yeah, and that, then it will be time for moving forward. Like, then you get six of swords towards something you're committed to. There's commitment, contract, something you can commit yourself to. I see someone then moving towards family, okay? Family. Love, unconditional love, support. Okay? Six, six, wow. And two, six, 26 and 66. And then we've got the five, which, um, six, five, even. So maybe Gemini energy or uh, any of those other signs, right? Maybe Sagittarian, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. But I'm seeing someone is committed to someone. You could have been, you could have known them for a long time. The higher font can represent sometimes, you know, the, the priest or the pope or a spiritual leader, but also someone who is about contracts and they're what they're, you know, there's a contract here. You could have a past life contract with someone. Okay. That you committed to, because there was something else in your, in your first reading, a commitment, a promise. Someone made a vow of commitment or a promise to return at a certain time point when someone was in need of help. This is, crazy so there's a commitment contract marriage something like this guidance from someone from your past where there's good nostalgia yeah so now we're done resting 44 44 again so someone could be 44 or 44 is the Aries sign because i'm saying done no longer doing the resting and healing that needs to uh you know Maybe they were doing some healing in secret. There was apathy, boredom, and regret regarding some stuff from the past. I'm seeing getting out of feeling like they have to rest and um, someone else is very bored. Or they're moving out of regret. And uh, this is the healing. To me, when Four of Swords is in reverse, I know other readers can read things differently, but that's how I read it. I see hope and healing here, too, about unconditional love. Okay. Knight of coins in reverse. So something's just taken so long. A lot of Virgo Taurus energy right there. I also see 65 again. So maybe Gemini. A lot of Virgo energy though. Knight of coins is in reverse. Then page of coins. So you could even have a child that is uh, an earth sign energy. But I'm just saying there was stagnancy. Someone does get stopped. Right? And that's the delay. There's been a delay. And so it's all about patience. So page of coins even. Someone, they're going to bring a small offer. They're going to come in with a, a gift, a coffee, a something. They're moving towards feeling. So also seeing this five of wands. I don't see the five of swords. No. Okay. They're coming. This is an offer, a gift or something. You know, it could be, it's small, it's not huge. The hanged man, once again, about the earth sign energy. Someone gets stuck or caught. Seeing a different perspective about what commitment is and contracts and values and being generous and giving instead of um, being stingy and greedy. I also see, wow. 411, 412, 12, 4, 511, 512, 54. Hmm. So you could be like, <laughs> there could be a commitment or a contract or something from a Virgo energy in your past or a Taurus or something like this. Okay, King of Cups. This could be you if you're feeling this way. Heavy emotions, there could be heavy drinking. Um, playing a victim in some sense, feeling like you're a victim of your circumstances. 
vice versa. But I'm seeing someone sticking around or seeing a whole, whole different perspective here about being generous and giving, even helping others like with their healing, helping pay with even their medical bills or stuff like that. Their rest, maybe doing things like that in secret. I don't know. It doesn't have to do with love. It's about uh, like r romantic love. It's about this boss, this emperor. Four of coins in reverse. Four of swords in reverse. Four, four, four. Wow. So yeah, we have four, four, four. So seeing four, four, four. To me, that's all about stability, family. Um, <clears throat> you know. Um, maybe even at the 12, right? And the communicating and creative and maybe even having dreams or something about family. But I do have the devil there and temperance. Hmm. So potentially Capricorn, Sagittarius, cusp energies or something. I'm saying someone trying to control something. This is some addiction, something toxic. Hmm. Keeping someone stuck in fear. That's like the same thing. Who has the personality of a stock photo? That's where there was the deception, right? Let me look underneath here. The trust. Trust me. Snapdragon. Hmm. And then we have temperance. Trying to keep life in balance. Even their finances. Not overindulging. This might have been somebody who you pushed away out of your life at one point. Or you could have this in your chart as well. Not not overindulging, not overdoing it. And then I see Knight of Wands. Wow. So someone was young and immature. And they want to come in really quick and passionately. Someone you pushed away. Or that felt out in the cold. They're coming in with a small little offer. It definitely could be a Sag. Masculine for some of you. I mean, it can be a feminine. I'm seeing maybe someone is getting out of debt as well. And so they're coming in. Maybe they owe you something. They're going to pay you back a little bit of what they owe you. I don't know. Something like that. And then we've got the Knight of Wands. It's the final card. Someone gets caught being a player. Or having to see the other perspective of it. Being an emotional manipulator. Huh. Wow. Okay, Pisces. That is your final message for September. Wow. So if any of you have Aries in your chart or because that's your cusp, Aries, you are coming up next in my messages for my September monthlies. Thank you all so very much. Bye-bye.